because we live on a rotating Earth, and because many of the instruments that we use to measure our world are attached to the Earth, we need to understand how the rotation affects the measurements. One way is through the Coriolis effect. In this film, we're going to see the Coriolis effect in action. We'll look at two different demonstrations. For the first demonstration, I've asked Sam Palmer from Clistvale Community College to help me. I've attached a paper disc to this chopping board using a pin. In a moment, I'm going to ask Sam to draw a straight line using this ruler along the paper. But while he does that, I'm going to slowly revolve the disc anti-clockwise. This is the way that the Earth revolves if we look at it from above the North Pole. OK, Sam, I'll start revolving it. If you just gently draw a straight line. And then perhaps just add an arrowhead to show which way you were drawing. Lovely, thanks very much. So we can see that although Sam really drew a straight line, from the point of view of an observer on the rotating disc, it appeared to curve to the right. And this is the Coriolis effect in action. We can see the Coriolis effect again in this turntable demonstration. This turntable has been specially adapted. Don't use mains electricity if you try this experiment. I've set up a tube draining from the top tank to make a jet of water here. I've added food colour to the water to make it easier to see and I've, mar I've marked the spot where the water is going to land. I'll tip the water into the top bucket now. I'll just adjust it a little bit so it's landing right in the middle of the blue line. What will happen when Sam switches on the turntable so that it rotates anti-clockwise? The jet of water misses the mark and lands to the right. This again is the Coriolis effect in action. <laughs> 